<laughs> okay. Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to this um, outreach event, teacher outreach event for Eurocall, the European Association for Computer Assisted Language Learning. Um, we're an association full of people who love uh, teaching languages and also technology enhanced learning. You can find us on Twitter, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, um, and obviously on our website as well. Um, who are we? Well, we bring together researchers, practitioners, developers, and all of us feel passionate about language teaching and the use of technology. We have an annual conference, which at the time of this recording has just finished and has been brilliant, so we'd like to see you there too. We have special interest groups, we have a prestigious journal called Recall and another online journal, and we have community groups as well, LinkedIn and Facebook. So we'd love you to be one of us. Come and join our community at Euracore. We'd love to see you. Um, so without further ado, though, I'm going to pass on to our speakers, Carla and Vanessa from the University of Southampton. Thank you, Kate. We'll just load up the PowerPoint now. Thank you. So welcome everybody. Just before we begin, um, we wanted a couple of notes here. So when we're presenting or speaking, if you could just keep your microphones on mute, um, do use the chat whenever you'd like to interrupt us um, or put your virtual hand up uh, during the session. Right, lovely. So hello, everyone. Thank you very much for the ones who did join the session today, especially on a big holiday weekend. Um, Carla de Lima Geddes. Vanessa, want to introduce yourself? And I'm Vanessa Marmolinari. <laughs> <laughs> um, Vanessa and I are senior teaching fellows at the Academic Centre for International Students at the University of Southampton. And we've been responsible for creating online courses, teaching online, training tutors to teach English as a second language online throughout the pandemic. Um, well, the, the last year has, uh, um, has triggered, I'll say even forced, the use and acceptance of digital developments within education. And this has given us an opportunity to trial different student engagement strategies, tools and techniques. Um, so most of our work is within higher education, uh, but a lot can be applicable to other levels of education. So you see there are quite a few of the examples that we're going to go through today can be applicable to primary and secondary education. So here's an overview of our plan uh, for today. Uh, so we'll be sharing some of the literature uh, in uh, student engagement and our experiences on how to create engaging and diverse learning um, experiences that can foster student engagement. And we would like you to share your experiences in creating these two. For all the examples we use, we will explain how and why they can potentially engage students online. So this, sessions, this session will be a very hands-on session, so I hope everyone is up for it. And I uh, would like to ask uh, you to use different tools within Collaborate, which is the platform that we're using, such as the chat and the mic, so be ready to use those, and some tools outside Collaborate as well. We'll leave some time for questions at the end, but feel free to ask us any questions throughout the session. Just if we have a very small group, so just turn your mic on if you need to, uh, if you want to make a comment, uh, make a suggestion or ask a question. Um, we also have a palette wall, which I'm going to be adding the link to the, uh, to the chat now. Um, and we invite you to engage with our Padlet wall throughout and after the session today. Uh, the link is on uh, the screen as well. And there is also a QR code on screen if you prefer to use that so you can access the Padlet wall. So you can have that on your phone. We can engage with the, with the wall um, whilst you know, having the session on your laptop screen. OK, so before we get started with um, some of the theory on the area that we're going to talk about, we just wanted to make sure that everybody's familiar with Collaborate. We know that um, some of you may have been to sessions earlier or have used it before. Um, but on screen, you can see some of the key Collaborate functionality. And we'll give you a few tasks to do so you familiarise yourself with the platform. 
Uh, we're doing this now, we'd also do it with our teaching, so before sessions when we're engaging students with using a new platform, we'd always make sure that they're familiar with all of the different functionality they need to use and make it a bit fun and interactive so we know that students are able to engage throughout the sessions. So Carla's going to paste in the chat now some things that we'd like you to do. So the first thing is if you could um, add in the chat where you are today. So if you can first of all add in the chat, where are you today? Everybody could do that now if you can access the chat and we'll be able to see. So you'll see from the instructions where you can find the chat on the right hand corner. If you open up, so in Titchfield in my spare room, says Kate B. Carl is in sunny Southampton. And the University of Warwick, the whole place, is just outside Warwick and a bit. <laughs> um, anybody else well, there? Of, well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Kate. 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 Hello, let us know how your day is going with a mood face, please. So Carla, again, so to make sure that we make the session accessible for all, Carla's posted in the chat. So let us know how your day is going with a mood face. So by selecting in the centre, so University of Warwick is loving today. Very happy smiley face coming up from the University of Warwick. Anybody <laughs> else? Kate B, very happy face as well, very laughing, smiling. But it's good we've got a happy bunch here. Now, a very happy bunch. That's great to see. Really good. Great. So um, moving on, if you could add a picture of yourself as an avatar. Now, I know we haven't got much time, but again, this is always nice and we get the students to do it as well, to put in a picture of themselves, especially if then they don't really want to use their camera because they haven't got ready for the day. Um, then that's kind of how, how we'd, we'd like them to, to introduce themselves so we know more or less who, who we're speaking with. And number four, Send a hello as a private message to someone you don't know in the session. And then number five, also coming up in the chat, is are you ready to start? So please tell us yes in the chat when you're ready to start. Carla will let me know how that's all going. So during the session, also feel free to give us happy smiley faces or confused faces if there's things that we're talking about that you're not quite sure. And again, you find this in Collaborate, there's happy surprise. Please go faster or slower. That's great when you're dealing with international students or even students who are having problems connecting to the internet. It's always a good thing to do. So right, we're going to, to get started. And again, as Carla said, we're, everything we're going to do is how we'd start sessions with our students. So after familiarising themselves with the functionality of the platform, we then move on to getting people to interact a bit, wake up, say hello. So what we'd like you to do is the poll is going to appear on the screen. And if you could just let us know what platforms you use to teach online with. So if you could take the poll now. And we'll see the answers coming up. So Microsoft oh. Teams, Zoom, Collaborate. Can I do it multiple times. Yes, you can do multiple times. I think, Carla, have we, have we activated multiple yes. times? Yes. Yeah. So if you use more than one, you can um, you can choose other ones you use. I'm afraid, as a virtual exchanger, I use about half a dozen. So. Put <laughs> <Have you? laughs> <laughs> some more in the other. But you can take them all. Yeah. It's only letting me press one at a time. Okay, I'll just go with one. Oh, I see. Shout out, shout out the next one. So we've got we've got a range. So that that's really nice to know. Nice to know that people are familiar with Collaborate as well. Um, so lots of different different functionalities. But again, everything we're going to do today in the session is about engagement, regardless of the tool you're using. And in our Padlet wall, there's lots of different examples of free tools which have different forms um, of of engaging your students with if you haven't got the functionality in Collaborate. So the next task 
we'd like you to do is we're going to give you 20 seconds to think about the answer to the following question and then we'd like you to turn your mics on and to discuss the questions with us so in one word what does engagement look like or mean to you so sometimes we do this as a vvox uh, for those of you who are familiar with vvox um, sometimes we do it as a thought question or a chat so what does engagement mean to you and put your hand up when you're ready and you'd like to give us an answer. And there we go, University of Warwick, the whole of the University of Warwick has their hand up. So I'm going to lower the hand and so the whole of the University of Warwick. I have to disclaim here at this point because I'm retired from the University of Warwick. I just happened to be using this room. <laughs> so, this is this is a word I've been tussling with for a while, and I think my safest answer is it means that I promise to marry someone. Oh, that's <laughs> Very good. And I'm going to ask you to turn your mic off, and Kate. Could you let us know your answer, please? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, well, I mean, I tussled with this one in one word, in one word. Um, and so I, I picked on interaction, but that's not really adequate either um, for what I feel engagement is. But I'm, I'm going to say uh, I like to see interaction of some kind. It doesn't have to be speaking, but some kind of interaction. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's great. So normally what we would, we'd have um far more people within the session and hopefully lots of different answers um and that's always nice to make a word map of these so um we're not going to do a word map of these now because with a couple of answers doesn't really work but hopefully when you've got sort of a whole room of students then lots of different answers come up and people try not to do the same thing that the person next to them has done so it gets gets a little bit of a thought process going getting people to shout okay. out familiar with the platform as well so the next question that we want to ask you is to think about why your students might not be engaged. So if you've come to our session, it may be because you're thinking my students aren't engaged, they're not motivated to be engaged in line. So what tips could I take away? So we'd like you to think now why your students aren't engaged. And we're going to put you into breakout rooms. We like to put students into breakout rooms. It gives them the seminar feel, the way of being able to discuss with each other. Um, not in a big group with lots of people and then to be able to feed back to everybody. So if you could choose a spokesperson from your group, um, even though we have very small numbers, and we'll come back into the main room in a minute um, so that you can discuss your answers. So Carla, would you do the, the honours of putting people into breakout rooms, please? At this point, we'd just like to say that the breakout rooms won't, um, you won't be able to see the breakout rooms in the recording so the recording won't record the breakout rooms, it will only continue to record the main room. But when we come back in, people will feed back again. So. Just a yeah, question, so you mentioned, yeah, that, sorry. Uh, sorry, Claire, Claire Siskin has joined us. So Claire, just so that you know, we've made everybody moderators so that we've got the full functionality within Collaborate. So don't worry, we're not going to ask you to read, run the rest of the session. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, before I move people, I can see, uh, Sophie, you've got two accounts online, Sophie 2 and Sophie 3. Which one are you using? So which one shall I move to a breakout room? Uh, I don't know, probably number three. Number three, okay. yeah. Okay, so off you go. <laughs> <laughs> 